Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for NBA on Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. We got NBA player prop spreads over unders here for you today. My name is Steve and we're going to have three picks that I think are great value bets for the Saturday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 1,600 subscribers here by the end of the week. And we are getting really close to that. By the way, when we do get to 2,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing another giveaway. So looking forward to that, guys. We're going to be doing another parlay giving, uh, giveaway and giving away a couple more shirts as well. So looking forward to that, guys. Be sure to check out our community Discord. We'll have a link down in the comment section and in the description of that. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. Be sure to also put your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now time for a quick shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. Gotta get the bag, Shane Davis and Wokey. As always, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you all here at the channel. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there is a link down below where it says join. Um... You get some custom emojis and things of that nature. You also do get a color in our Discord, uh, a special color in our Discord uh, channel if you do hop into the server as well. So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys. No pressure on that stuff. Just want to let you guys know that it is there. Okay, and now for the results from the previous episode. So for our comic cappers, we had Andre calling out the Christian Wood. Two plus assists there for the Houston Rockets. He ended up finishing the game with four. So great call out there for Andre. Uh, as far as the stream results, we went 2-3. A little bit of a mixed bag there. Uh, we were able to catch the Trey Young under 9.5 assists there. That trend does stay intact there versus the Miami Heat. And uh, we were, were able also to catch the under 214.5 in the Blazers-Celtics game. There was 214 points. Um, so if you guys you know got that at 213 or 212, I do, you know, I do apologize. It stinks. Uh, you got dealt a bad, you know, bad beat there at the end. Uh, easily should have cashed that bet a lot easier than we did, but we did cash it. Uh, we missed on the DeMar DeRozan under 26 and a half points. If you guys told me the final score of that game, I would have said we would have cashed easy, right? Uh, you know, Bulls didn't score a lot of points last night, but DeRozan happened to have just about half of them. So uh, a lot of it from the foul line, which really ticked me off. I was not happy at all. I might like, play defense without fouling, please. Uh, but that did not happen last night. And then we had LeBron James over 45 and a half PRAs there for the Lakers. He's just trolling us, guys. His point line was 29 and a half. He finished with 29 points. His rebound line was eight and a half. He finished with seven rebounds. And his assist line was like six and a half, and he finished with five. So he's like one off in just about every category. So, you know, sometimes you can't do anything about that, guys. I still was very comfortable with the play, you know. Given all the factors that we had there going in, if you guys also told me the final score of that game, I would have said we would have cashed that. 116 points for the Lakers. Braun played about 34 minutes. So, you know, sometimes, you know, what can he do? And then the Oklahoma City Thunder spread we also missed on. Um, you know, they just thought maybe they could get close, and they were kind of hanging somewhat close for about three quarters where I thought they still had a good shot, and then, you know, Charlotte just pulled away. Really had a nice cushion most of the game. So what can you do about that? Went 2-3. and three. We're going to get this 3-0 and today, guys. So let's get after it. Getting right into our picks. At number one, we are going with our best bet of the day here, guys. Jay Crowder over 4.5 rebounds here for the Phoenix Suns at minus 122 odds on FanDuel. Uh, now, Crowder is averaging 10.7 rebound chances in the month of January. That is obviously very solid. We love to see that. Uh, anytime you're in the double digits there for rebound chances and you got a line like this, obviously you'd like to see that. He has cashed the sun in three of his last four games versus the Indiana Pacers going 11, 8, 8, and 3. So that's obviously very solid. The three rebounds that he had was in just 18 minutes of action. So obviously we anticipate Crowder to play more minutes than that. Uh, Pacers coming in this game with a lot of injuries. I know their offense performed pretty solid there against Golden State the other night. Don't know if I see that happening again. Um, as far as you know, rebounding opportunities, we should see some here for uh, the Phoenix Suns. Uh, you know, like I said, given what the, the Pacers are dealing with here, uh, as far as the injuries go, Jay is six out of eight 
in his last eight games to this line, and that included an 11 rebound performance versus the Indiana Pacers. He's 13 and 19 in his last 19 games as well. So it's obviously very good. I really love the amount of rebounds, though, that he's had versus the Indiana Pacers. That's obviously very significant. 11, 8, and 8, and three of those, uh, four, like, you know, like we were saying there. Um, and 11 here recently versus the Pacers. Because, you know, those type of things that we don't even need him to have a crazy day, right? You're just asking for five. We're not asking for 11. We just need five from Jay. So, and he is actually averaging slightly more rebounds per game at home than on the road. So he's averaging 5.2 rebounds per game at home versus 4.7 on the road. So we do love to see that. That's obviously very solid. And, uh, yeah, I just love the data on this one, guys. There's a lot of a lot of good data here for Jay Crowder. A lot of success rate. Uh, it's a very solid trend. Like I said, love the 10.7 rebound chances in the month of January. We love to see that. So, Love it there for our number one pick. Jay Crowder over four and a half rebounds here for the Phoenix Suns at minus 122 odds. Okay, and at number two, we're going with Darius Garland over 34 and a half PRAs here for the Cleveland Cavaliers at minus 113 odds. So Garland had 50 PRAs his last outing versus Oklahoma City Thunder. And the Thunder right here are on a back-to-back, -back, so obviously I love seeing that. Garland is 5 out of 5 in his last 5 games to this line, uh, so we love seeing that as well. He's averaging 36 PRAs per game in the month of January, really stepping up and turning into this you know, absolutely fabulous point guard uh, here really all season, but um, you know, obviously in the month of January he's really been upping it up even more, particularly with the assists. He's been in double digits for assists in a lot of games here recently as well. And the Thunder actually allowed the second most assist uh, two point guards, the eighth most rebounds, and the 23rd most points to point guards. So, if you're looking for, for just one line to play, is over nine and a half assists, honestly, is a very solid look as well. He had 18 assists in that game there, last game versus the Thunder. So, uh, that's solid. Even his points, I mean, he's gone over in points in four out of five uh, career games versus the Thunder here, going for 20 plus points, and his line is 19 and a half. So, uh, that's not a bad look as well. I mean, he had 27 points in that game. So you really can't go wrong. And I actually happened to have his rebound line that game. Three and a half, and he en ended up with five. Now, his rebound line's gone up to four and a half. That's the only reason I didn't run it back on that. Uh, but honestly, guys, Garland's been really good to us here on the channel so far in the season, whether it be rebounds, assists, points, PRAs. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff with Garland this year, and he's he's been pretty good to us. So... Love it there, guys, for our number two pick, Darius Garland, over 34.5 PRAs here for the Cleveland Cavaliers at minus 113 odds. Okay, and finally, at number three, we are rolling with the over 230.5 points in the Kings-Bucks game at minus 110 odds. So believe it or not, the over is hit in the last six meetings between these two teams. Uh, so we love to see that, honestly. Um, and last night, you know, obviously the Bucks played a hard, grinded out game there at the Bulls, so the defense could be a little bit tired here coming in. The Bucks are sixth in the NBA in defensive efficiency, but the Kings are 27th in defensive efficiency. So uh, I still think the Kings in this particular matchup should be able to score. The Kings like to shoot the three, um, you know, and the Bucks don't defend the three point line too well. It's kind of one of their weaknesses. So I think the Kings can kind of take advantage from them there um, on the perimeter. So. Uh, you know, looking for that, obviously. Both these two teams uh, rank inside of the top 10 for pace. Kings are 7th in pace. Bucks are ninth in pace. Uh, so, love seeing that. Kings score 111 points per game on the road. Uh, the Bucks score 111.5 points per game at home. Kings allow 116.8 points per game on the road, which is dead last in the NBA. It's obviously not good. And the Bucks allow 105.9 points per game at home. So, Obviously, I love those factors, guys. Um, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, six out of the last six have hit the over. And a lot of the factors are still the same between these two teams, right? The pace, uh, the points per game that we see road and home, uh, the points that are allowed, particularly by the Kings. Like I said, we do have the Bucks here on a back-to-back. -back, so, you know, are they going to be quite as fresh and quite as quick on the perimeter to get out to those three-point shooters? I don't think so. And they honestly don't defend the three-point line well. They allow the second-most threes in the NBA. And so, you know, I talked about yesterday how DeRozan was a, you know, good matchup to the under in a sense because he doesn't shoot the three ball. Well, this is not a good matchup to the Bucks as far as the over goes, as far as the Kings scoring points because they like to shoot the ball. 
Um, and they like to hurt you from the perimeter um, as well. And they can do that. They can, they can make a lot of threes, obviously. So, uh, honestly, guys, I love it there. For number three pick, the over 230 and a half points in the Kings Bucks game at minus 110 odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. Just wanted to deliver a quick but important PSA to you here, guys, as well. Make sure that anytime you're looking to tail any of these bets, make sure that you do your own research as well. It is very important to do that stuff, guys. As a good sports better, uh, creating good habits, it's important to dot your I's and cross your T's. Um, you know, for me, anytime that I'm looking to tail a bet as well, I do the same. I always check my Android reports. I always check our matchups um, and double check everything. It's definitely worth doing that. I hope that the information I give you here today is more, you know, used to steer you in the right direction. Like, for instance, on Garland, you can go many routes with Darius Garland tonight. You can go with his assists. There's a lot of convincing data for his assists. You can go with his points. There's a lot of convincing data there. Or you can go with his PRAs like I did. Um, there's, you know, a lot of different routes you can go. Uh, there's a lot of convincing data to it, but you don't necessarily have to take the PRAs. You can take something different. Um, say, you know, with the over 230 and a half points, normally I would never play something like that uh, that's that high, and I've told a lot of people that. Uh, but there's a lot of convincing data to the over, like both teams being inside the top 10 for pace, six of the last six meetings going over, the Kings allowing 116.8 points per game on the road. Um, so there's a lot of convincing data that I love about it, but that you might go, you know, Steve, I'm just not comfortable there. I like taking, uh, you know, point totals that are lower. And a lot of times, you know, I'm in that boat as well. So, like I said, I like that one, obviously, for tonight, and I took it as an official pick. But just bear that in mind. Make sure that, you know, we're all trying to make each other better here. We're all trying to improve as a sports better. Uh, that's what we do in our community. That's what we do in our Discord, right? Um... You know, for me, I'm always trying to improve as well. Anytime that I tail a pick, like I said, I always you know, try to dot my I's and cross my T's. I never just blindly tail stuff. So just bear that in mind. I wish you guys all the best of luck today. I want us all to cash out today. Let's have a big day today here in the NBA. Let's have fun watching these NFL games today too. I'm going to be doing both. Um, looking to run a live stream tonight. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm doing that. So that's why I'm not really putting it out there. I'm kind of a spur of the moment live streamer in a lot of senses, but... Yeah, you can check back later on tonight. I believe the game starts around 8, 8, 15. Might be running a live stream there for the NFL game. Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Always appreciate that. If you're a returning viewer, please also consider hitting that like button as well. It really does help us out. Check out all our social media links. If you want to become a straight fire MVP as well, we have our link down um, at the join button for that. And also, that'll be in the description if you want to check that out. Other than that, that's going to do it for me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Let's cash all your bets as well. Let me know what you're playing in the comments. And uh, we will catch you back next time for the next NBA episode. Peace out.